Good evening. I hope you're all having a wonderful time at your annual meeting called Knowledge is Power, one of my favorite uh, expressions throughout my professional life, because I really believe that. I want to take this opportunity to personally thank you for the honor of being named this year's recipient of the Lucy Hobbs Taylor Award. It really is a special treat for me to know that I'm being recognized by my female colleagues for the entire body of work that I've accomplished throughout my professional career. I want you to know, though, as honored as I am, that I'm accepting this really also on behalf of all the people that have made this possible for me. Some warm, friendly, and loving, empowering parents, a great supportive and wise husband, an inspiring daughter, terrific partners in my private dental practice, a staff that's been extremely supportive, friends that are just incomparable, and all of my professional colleagues that really has taken a village uh, in order for me to be able to do what I've done throughout my lifetime. And I'm so appreciative of everything that I've received from them. I want to tell you a little bit about what AAWD means to me. This was just the second organization that I joined when I graduated from dental school and became part of the 1% of dentists in the country that were female. I had no idea how much that first step of joining AEWD was going, to be a, was going to mean to me throughout my lifetime. I met two wonderful mentors, Helen LeCower and Jane Selby, and I met young women dentists that I could relate to that were in their uh, 20s and 30s and spread around the country. These are people that would have never come into my daily life had I not been a part of this organization. And those friendships are still friendships for me today. Certainly, Barbara Kay in Boston, Linda Neeson, Dushanka Kleinman, Eva Dahl, I, so many that I can't even remember um, everybody right now or I would carry on way too long, have been people that have come in and out of my life throughout the years and have been extremely meaningful. In fact, we all joke that it's formed kind of the old girls network versus the old boys network. Uh, and it's really been fun to be able to pick up the phone and call someone and get a wise answer for a question that I've had. Beyond that, um, AAWD, I believe, is a petri dish for developing female leadership in our profession. We were taught how to work within an organization, how to move things forward, and were given visibility so that other groups could see that we had leadership capabilities and then asked us to join those um, functions or groups or projects. It really is a wonderful way uh, to hone your skills and to become empowered and to move into the responsible positions that we should have in our profession. So I'm thrilled to have been a part of this. I'm thrilled to say that I'm a past president and now I'm thrilled to say that I've won this wonderful award. And I can't thank you all enough. I also want to give a personal thank you to the executive board because as much as I wanted to be here and accept this award in person tonight, we had a wonderful family event that unfortunately was scheduled for the same weekend in New York City. And so I'm in New York right now while you're there in Chicago. It's so fitting and so wonderfully um, rewarding to me to think that the board, even though this award means so much to everybody, agreed that I should be with family this weekend and be able to allow me through the miracles of technology to be with you via video. So thank you so much for that understanding and for knowing that all of us try to do everything we can and sometimes we do it all, but we have to do it with some help from our friends. I'm looking forward to seeing you in San Francisco, all of those of you that will be there and thanking you in person, but for now, enjoy your meeting and know how very appreciative I am. Good night.